Hi, so we're going to take a look at uh, creating a part file using the sweep tool. Okay, so for sweep we need two uh, 2D sketches in order to create a sweep. Okay, the first 2D sketch is going to be some kind of profile. Okay, so some kind of shape. Um, in this case we're just going to create some uh, kind of a complex looking shape that we can um, that will help us understand what happened in sweep. Okay, so here I'm not going to I'm not going to dimension it uh, in an effort to save time. Okay, so we created this shape that we're now going to put along a path. Okay, so we have our profile, and I'm going to click finish sketch. Now we need a second 2D sketch, and we're going to create that 2D sketch on a plane that is perpendicular to our original sketch. It can be either plane, but it has to be a plane that's perpendicular to the sketch. Okay, so now notice I'm in my second sketch, and notice I'm on a plane that's perpendicular. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, <clears throat> a spline. You could use a line, an arc, whatever it is, but, but, um, but I'm going to go ahead and use a spline to kind of illustrate some difficulties that you might run into. So in this case, what we have here is we have a curved line, okay? In our case, we're going to create a very severe curve at the end, and go, I'm going to go ahead and create there, and I'm going to go ahead and finish sketch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create our sweep. So we click sweep, and our profile is already chosen because that was the only available profile. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, choose. I'm going to choose it manually even though it automatically did it. So first I'm going to choose the profile that we want to sweep along our path. So you can think of it as repeating the profile along the path. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Notice that I didn't get my preview. Now this is the most common error. So what has happened here is that the sweep was self-intersecting. Okay, so self-intersection. That means as, as the, as the uh, profile went along the path, it ran into itself. And this will happen when, say, this last part of the path is too tight. <clears throat> uh, that will sometimes happen. So let's go ahead and uh, double click the path and we're going to go ahead and just straighten out the end of the path and see what happens here. So we're going to go ahead and finish sketch and we're going to try our sweep again. And notice that we immediately get a preview. Okay, so if you don't get the preview initially, and um, then you get the error of self-intersecting. It's almost always a self-intersecting error, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Um, and now, let's say that we wanna do something a little bit different with the sweep. So let's take a look at some of the um, other options that we have here. Okay, so remember we created a sketch that was a profile. We created a path that was on a perpendicular plane. Okay, there are a couple other options here. So let's go ahead and do a taper. So let's say we wanna make one end larger than another. Let's say we do a 20% taper, and notice that my preview disappeared, which means that I'm going to probably get an error. Okay, even at 10%, still not giving us the... Okay, so now at 5%, it didn't self-intersect, so notice that um, Notice that if you don't get the preview, you're probably likely going to get an error. Let's go ahead and twist it. Okay, so let's say we get a 5-degree twist, and let's go to a 25-degree twist. Okay, what about a 90 degree twist? Okay, so we were able to twist uh, twist pretty well here. Okay, so there's a 180 degree twist, and we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Okay, so let's turn this into like something that's a little bit nicer to work with here, or look at here. Okay, there we have it. So there is our loft, and then we put a taper and a twist onto it. Okay, uh, best of luck with the loft tool.